Freaking Jeep presents. Happy New Year to everybody. I hope you all have a better year than last year, and I hope every year is always better. I watched um, Mark. I can't sit down on this very well. I hope I'm not higher than that camera. I bet I am. I can't tell where I'm at on that thing. Uh, well, we'll raise it up because you can see my ugly mug then. I watched uh, Mark this morning on his New Year's um, New Year's thing. He did a great job. Mark, thank you for helping me out and making Bunyan Show possible because if it hadn't been for you, I probably wouldn't have gotten to Bunyan Show. Um, you uh, inspired me, I guess might be the right word, or pushed me along or kicked me in the butt. I, I don't know exactly what, what uh, the right terminology would be. I don't know how long this battery's going to last. You guys know I always got a battery problem. You would think I'd fix that and make that my New Year's resolution, but that's a brand new battery I bought before the Bunyan Show. It's been up there charging for two hours, and um, I should keep, I have three of them. I should have kept them charged, but when I put it in to see it was fully charged, it, it didn't say it was fully charged, so I don't know what it's got in it. Anyhow, this is kind of a goofball show. Um, if you guys liked the whatever you want to call what I put together on last night's show, this is going to go on tonight, um, put a comment down there below because I ran out of time because I jabber so much. And um, I appreciate you coming along. And it was it's stuff I just don't know how to get it all on YouTube. And some of the stuff there is on YouTube in the past. So um, if you see something there you're interested in, I'm kind of giving a few of the dates so you could go back to that kind of well, I don't know when I put them on YouTube. That might give you an idea about where they are, and if you have more interest in some of it, some of those are movies, so you could go back in some of the old YouTubes and, and see it. You have to go up and hit the videos, and then it comes up with just a thousand videos, guys. There's a lot of videos. Um, it's basically all the same. You know, this time of the year, it's muddy, and you can't get much done, so you got crappy videos, or I do. Um, and then as it starts to dry off, I start trying to get the dead trees out of the um, yard when it's not muddy. And then you start getting your firewood ready for, not this year, for the next year. My firewood for next year, I think, is already ready. I, I have no idea. I'll tell you what, it's 60 degrees out here right now. I, I, don't, I have a sweatshirt on, but hardly anything out here. Perfect day to do firewood, perfect day to do saw milling, perfect day to do just about a million things except for stand on earth. Um, and I know everybody out there in YouTube land is probably fighting just about the same thing. So anyhow, I sold um, some wood and I want to give a shout out to Iron and Oaks. I think it's Chuck and Deb. I'm rotten with names. I should write it down, but I'm too stupid to even remember to write them down and then I lose the list anyway. Um, I asked him what the size of his wood, um, him and Dan have uh, firewood things that they sell larger than a bundle and um, I have one out there that I just sold it and it was a tenth of a cord so I wanted to see how I related to in that size compared to his size for price I sold it for 50 bucks but my wood was Cadillac wood it was better than yours but it was you know not saying that your wood is bad but this is Cadillac wood it was all hickory no um, sap wood all heartwood and I'm going to show you what it scaled in out and how long it took to dry down um, now some of the variances in drying down, if you have bark on your wood, it might take longer to dry. That stuff dried out there, I thought, for being such a hard and heavy wood, really fast. So I got, I got the, the final finale of that over here, and uh, I'm going to show that to you. It, it is the first of the month, so I got to go get um, this, this tripod ain't fitting through here, guys. Uh, well, I'll pull it over this way. How about that? I'll put it down and then maybe explain it no it don't work that way i gotta get you through here you know a round peg in a square hole thing it don't work let's see here's what the finale of that wood is if you can see it i'm try trying to get it there oh oh well, that's another another thing i have to show you this started out it's hickory it's one tenth of a cord hickory and it started out on one Oh, this is month one, January 14th of 2001. Okay, then by February, it gotten down to 6'10", so it lost 28 pounds. March, you can kind of figure it all the way down. But once you get down, okay, here, it basically was dry then at the ninth month. And like I've been saying, 
Most of your wood dries out 75% in the first four to five months, three to four months, somewhere around there, depending on the kind of wood. Um, it was covered up and it was in the greenhouse, but the good thing about the greenhouse is it doesn't get rained on. The bad thing is it actually, the humidity is pretty high in there. When the fans come on, it, it draws air across it, but I've had, I've scaled wood outside of the greenhouse and they both dry at about the same rate but it stays a lot prettier in the greenhouse because nothing gets on it anyhow the, the final the final weight that i sold it at was 484 pounds no 482 pounds it had it had gone now it's somewhere 400 i don't remember what it is i got all these papers here let me see if i can figure it out like i said now the wind's blowing a little bit uh, it had gone down to 479 okay the lowest it went was 484 and this is where I used to keep track of it and it's just it's just goofy so now I have to make some more here's where it started and it was I know it was 6 638 and then if you go down okay so January so I'd have to go to February then February 8th I got February 13th, oh, no, maybe March 14th. Boy, I got it all screwed up, don't I? I think I decided not to choose that one. This one here was closer to a month. 610, yeah, that's what I got over here at 610. Okay, then it went down. You can, you can kind of see if you want to see what it's it's losing. I used to put the weather and how the, how the humidity was and all that kind of crap. Ah, I'm getting too old for that. And then we're here in the third month. Okay, it was... 558 I wonder if that's what I got over here yeah it is if you can see it over here 558 I don't know if this interests you or not but I got it and if you want to slow down on that I know it went down and came up the last few days it was down to it went out at 482 I know it went out at 482 because I wrote that down okay but it had been as low as 479 and that's the lowest I ever got it and those are the the dates if you want to figure like I said that's hickory with no bark all heartwood and all the everybody that says how if you look at all the charts of how much hickory weighs green okay they all give you under under 6,000 pounds but if if you put a zero by that that's 600 6,380 pounds so this is a tenth of a cord now so remember that when you do that um, and just if you find that interesting Leave a comment on that down there below, too, because it's just crazy stuff I do. Now, here's another crazy stuff. You guys know our number, guys. This is the first of the month, so i got to start keeping track. So in, uh, I started my boiler on 117, and I used .82 cords. That's not face cords. That's cords. Okay? Then in December, had a little bit of a spell. See, I put in there a cold spell. I used 3.08. So that gives me a year to date so far, 399. And so what I do is, you know, my, my wood's always in boxes. So like here, you can see a little, a little bit of this wood from here was in there. But I don't count it until I actually take the box out, so I kind of keep the numbers fairly close. And I also got to go out and get all the <clears throat> hour meters and stuff on the, um, on the uh, cars. I do that. So that's that for that. If you find that interesting, or if you if you kind of want to know, now remind you, I'm heating a lot of area. We got um, there was a a run on squirrels. I hadn't had any for two weeks. The place went dry, and then all of a sudden, they all showed up today. They all showed up. I'm up. I'm up to um, 22 now. They're tearing up my car so much, that's why I'm shooting them and other things. They've, they've chewed up some, some of the wood around the house, and they've chewed up this and that. And mostly the, what I'm mad at right now is they get into the bird feeder, and they'll shovel. Now the bird feeder, I'm going to walk up there because it's too far to carry you. The bird feeder, in two days, they have shoveled it down. The bird feeder holds about 30 pounds of bird food, and it's been around since... Oh, probably since my kids were real little. So I made that years and years ago. But see how, I don't know if this will even show up here. See how this side's down? Well, before they get in here, it was mounted all the way up because you fill it through the through the, the stack. I'm focused in on other things. They just shoveled out and you can see down here, 
see all the bird food is all they do is shovel it out and they keep all the birds from coming in so I I, I don't really care for them they're just forced rats or tree rats I guess the uh, deer are forced rats now the next thing I'm working on because you really can't drive around I haven't I, I walked down to the sawmill and it is so mushy down there I think I said that earlier maybe not I don't know so I'm doing stuff where I can walk what a mess huh well it's time to redo mouse traps these have a tendency to lose their little bait thing that's one problem that I have with these the other problem is you can't see it maybe but this this spike here that holds that um, holds this thing in can you I don't know if you can see it on there it comes loose and they they, they stopped working but it also lost the spike this one lost the spike so there's one two three and there's more of them out there I keep them for parts I don't know but I switched over to these plastic ones and what I do is you, if you have a mouse trap and you set it out in the wild here you're gonna lose it it's just that simple and so I have these chains that I bought a whole big spool of it at a place that was selling it I got the whole spool for ten bucks and I've got probably 20 traps with these chains on them and what I do is you got to drill and tap them it's kind of pain in the butt but if you set a mouse trap out here and it catches something and a raccoon or a possum comes by they take the trap and I was losing so many traps that I started doing that so that's that's where I'm at there so I've already I think I've already drilled all these now I just tap them real quick it's a 6 by 32 screw that I'm using and I got oodles of them that I didn't pay nothing for you know me I'm cheap and I just do that I'm gonna tap them all because as I'm going around starting to set the traps out again because I've noticed in my trail cams they're they're really working on the stuff and then you just for now I'm just gonna put a screw in there And you just, like I said, I'm just putting the screw in there now, and then I'll take them out and start doing them. There's one. Yeah, that one's drilled. It doesn't take too long, but these traps here, I don't know what they cost. I bought them a year ago, and I bought, <laughs> I bought a few. But they, they, I guess nothing's perfect. But I feed, there's a, there's a wild cat that comes along here, and I feed, uh, feed the cat, because he doesn't seem to get all the, he just comes in for a visit every now and then and eats a handful of cat food, and I, I put him water out, but I've noticed the mice are feeding on the cat food more than the, the cat doesn't like the, the cat food, it's too bad, it's leftover cat food, he gets what he, he gets what he pays for. Anyhow, there's that, and I got, so I'm starting to set traps, I have five set in here. I got a few more to go. I buy them by the box load. I don't mind the mice. I like the mice. I like the squirrels. I like all that stuff to look at them. But when they start start invading, you can't see on this. Well, this they've got a hole eating through over here on all the garage doors. So I got a trap there. I got a trap down there. I got another trap here, and you'd be surprised. You'll catch one on the other side of the room, and you won't catch one in here for a long time. I got, uh, and then they get in the toolbox, and they really mess that up. So there's one up there, there's one down there, and there should be, yeah, there's one up there. So I got, I don't know how many that makes. I think there's five in there, and then I got some down in my lower shed. So that's uh, what I'm working on today. There was something else I was going to show you guys. Oh, I'm charging up the um, wood uh, metal detectors to go down and detect that big log that's on the sawmill. And I might, might gnaw on that a little bit today because it's a good day. Let me see if it's charged up yet or not. Nope, still charging. This one here is ready to go. I had to put that, I think I showed you guys putting that new uh, battery box in that. Maybe I didn't, and I put dielectric grease on it to, maybe it would hang in there. Anyhow, that's about it. Oh, oh, I was going to show you 
the wood rack out in the uh, greenhouse. I made another wood rack. Um, I don't know when I made that. Yesterday. The, let's see. I don't even know what today is. No, I didn't make it yesterday because yesterday was New Year's. I must have made it Friday. Um, the boiler's just loping along. It's, uh, like I said, it doesn't take much fire in a hole to make make uh, heat on a day. Well, it takes the same amount of fire in a hole to make the same amount of heat, but it doesn't, I'm not using any heat because it's, the sun's out. It's, it's pretty nice out here right now. It's, it's great for, it's great for doing anything outside right now, except for you can't walk. This is um, what I'm selling in the firewood department. So I just kind of put this little rack together. I can't see what, it's so sunny in here. I can't see what's going on. But that little rack there holds a tenth of a cord, 12 cubic feet. And uh, it's basically, it's 16 this way, but you can see the logs stick out a little bit. It's 16 this way, so those are 18s. And then it's 26 wide, 48 tall, and then I throw in a um, thing of kindling with it. So that's how that goes. Um, that's where that hickory was. You guys have seen it in past videos. I think I might uh, make another one of these racks to set on top of there. It would hold it a little bit better and it really, uh, that's all I gotta do is, well when I stack it on there I don't have to worry about subtracting the, the weight of the crate. But it worked pretty good putting it in there. So that's that's where we're at there. I think that's about that's about it. Anybody know about this? Anybody want this? Hey Mac. Hope you had a good fourth. Oh, I got some other stuff for you. How about some ant eaten eaten wood? If you want that, you can have that too. It's that's that's real interesting stuff. That was um just kind of eating up ant. That's poplar. And Jeffrey was making something down at his place and he was going to throw it away. I said, nah, it's just kind of interesting. Don't know what I'll do with it. If Mac needs it, he'll, he'll get it. Um, what else? Nothing. Hot and sunny and muddy. That wraps it up for this one. You're going to see this today. Once again, have a happy new year. Go up and visit Mark Galici at his channel. He did a great sawing of some cherry this morning and gave me a great shout out, which thank you. Go over and visit Wild Wayne at Wayne's World Garage. Go visit um, Chuck and Deb at Iron and Oak Sawmill. Heck of a nice guy. Um, Dan at Back 40. Happy anniversary. It was his anniversary, so everybody go up there and wish him an anniversary. Um, can't think what else. There's another million people that you need to go visit and say hi to. So I'm glad you came along. Uh, that's about it for today. Hit the like button, subscribe button, and the next I'm going to be going down, I'm going to be working mouse traps for a while, and then I'm going to go down and metal detect the, um, that, that log and get that ready to go. So we'll see you guys now. Thank you for stopping by, and New Year. Have a good one. Bye.